I'm gonna take the time to clean my outdoor porcelain pavers. If you guys remember about six months ago, I think it was July, we had these installed at our house in our garage area, which we're now calling our outdoor living space. And over that amount of time, we've had chocolate milk spilled. We've had uh, dog prints, you know, muddy dog prints coming from the backyard and in toward the house on the porcelain pavers. And so it's time to clean. And I wanted to show you guys how I do that. I get a lot of questions about how difficult or easy these pavers are to clean. And so I thought I'd take you through the process of how I'm gonna do it. Now, in the spring, I'm gonna go through and take off all the furniture and clean everything. But for now, I'm going to do like almost like a spot clean, but with a scrub brush. So I'm gonna go through all the main areas that we walk through and the main areas of traffic and scrub those off, rinse them off and give them a really good clean. And then when the spring comes, I'll take everything off. So it's kind of like a multi-layered process, but for now I'm basically just spot cleaning. And how I'm gonna do it is a lot like I would mop the floors inside with just a few different tools. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of Dawn detergent. I'm gonna use a little scoop of Tide. I use about a teaspoon of Tide and about the same of the Dawn. So equal ratios there. I put it into a bucket. This is my indoor bucket, which I love a lot. Um, but of course you can use a five gallon bucket. Um, I mix it with super hot water. I just like getting really hot water and any kind of stain on a floor. And then last but not least, I'm using a car wash brush. These bristles are a little softer than a deck brush, and this is what I prefer to, um, to get up the stains and the little spots that are on this. I've tried to use a deck brush before, and the um, bristles are a little too stiff. You definitely do not want to use any kind of cotton mop or rag mop because this surface, as I mentioned in videos before, it is coarse in texture. It's almost sandpaper-like. So it's really great for keeping the grip on your feet. You're not gonna slip on it, but if you try to mop it with a cotton mop, it's gonna basically tear all those little fibers off and they're gonna end up all over on your floor. So you don't wanna use that. You want to use some sort of bristle deck brush, but a soft bristle. I got this one in the car wash department um, of, of your local hardware store or the automotive department of, or the automotive, yeah, the automotive department of the store. So, um, Let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse everything off just with clean water so it has a nice wet surface. Then I'm gonna get in there with the brush and kind of spot clean everything and then rinse it off once again and that'll be our process. at the beginning of the video when I said just soft bristle brush no hard bristle brush I didn't know that was before I did this area I went through the whole process uh, just like you would at home and experienced it and uh, it turns out I needed a harder bristle brush especially for those stubborn stains I also ended up adding a little bit of bleach to the hot water um, to try to increase my ability to get the stains out and they didn't 100% come out I would say we're probably at about 80 85 percent clean here um, I definitely saw a ton of water uh, a ton of dirt being washed away as I was rinsing the space but um, I think the key is gonna be when I get in here with the pressure washer in the spring and really get those stains. I may need to also come in with some sort of stain, um, like a spot cleaner and do that as well. I haven't experimented with that quite yet. Um, so just know that uh, what we've done here, the mixture that we've done here today is gonna get you about 80% there. If you have some really hard stains, it's probably gonna be a little more than that. I'll be honest, I probably waited a little bit too long between the time that the stains were made and me cleaning them up. I should have, um, treated them sooner and addressed them sooner. So if you get a stain on these porcelain pavers, make sure that you're addressing it at least within a week. Like this has been months. So totally on me for that. Um, and hopefully it'll fully get addressed in the spring. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment below and I'll answer them the best that I can. Yeah. 